Hey guys, we're back. Oh, it's been a while. I miss you guys. Let's go talk to Darcy. I don't want to say anything and get in trouble. Damn, Wynn. <laughs> What's going on, guys? We're back. It's been about a week since we've gone fishing, but before we get to our fishing trip today, we're really happy and super stoked. So we hit over the 100,000 subscribers mark six days ago. We now have 104,000. We're super stoked. We never thought we'd see that number, honestly. It's just truly a blessing. You guys are awesome for following us, following along on our adventures. Thank you. And we're only getting bigger. So I really appreciate all you guys. You guys are the best fans ever. And um, you made our week. So we're yeah, super it, stoked. I've, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm like, you know, when you start these ventures or when you start your own business, you don't know what's going to happen. And I remember when we started, like all the young YouTubers out there, you know, you get like a thousand subscribers and you're on top of the world. Then you get 10,000, then you get 50,000. You can't believe it. Yeah. Right? I mean, and now we got a hundred thousand. Yeah. I remember. Six figures. Woo. And, and awesome. our channel. And honestly, thank you so much. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but man, our channel, we got world our personal record view, amount of views in the last two days. Yes. Um, yes. Insane amounts. Blowing so, up. So thank you so views much. But uh, everywhere. you know, we, you guys saw those keys vi fishing videos, and then we haven't been doing too much the last couple days, and I really miss the fans. I feel like we're not connecting. We haven't been on enough. Yeah, we were we were doing those daily videos for quite a while, and you know, it got to the point where we really like enjoyed that, and yeah. it was a lot of work. But now, like the last week, like. I don't know. We feel like there's a part of us missing because yeah. we're not doing daily videos. Yeah, I don't so. get to talk to Phil every day and Charles Driggers and Skate and... Yeah, a lot of people. There's Bill. quite a lot of people. Aaron and Robin. Aaron and Robin, Zoe and Zoe and all the kids. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Man, I but. think maybe we'll do those dailies again in the spring or something. Right now we're doing every other day. Yep. And maybe some thrown in. Yeah, but basically to get to today real quick, what we always <laughs> wanted to say thank you and not draw it out too long, but we're going to be doing a giveaway tomorrow. So you guys need to stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Now, it might not be on tomorrow. Oh. It's going to be on maybe for Sunday. For our next video. <laughs> next I'm video. sorry. Day, another day. Next video. Not this one, but our <laughs> I don't next video you. that will be uploaded will be our giveaway video for 100K subscribers. So we're going to be giving away a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. you got to stay tuned for that and find out how to enter. Uh, but today we're going inshore fishing. It's been super rough. Ever since we got back from the Keys, it's been blowing steady 20 knots, gusting up to 30 some days. Just crazy it's rough out there. blowing 15 right now. We small craft advisory today, and they had gale force warnings earlier this week, and it's like four to six out there. So our little boat, we can't get out there, but you know we're gonna take you for an inshore saltwater fishing trip, and hopefully we can get on some snook. Yeah, otherwise we're just gonna have a nice day and we're gonna share what's going on with you guys and uh, share our jobs. You know, sometimes we're down, but we're so excited today to be back at 100, 100K! Yes! Woohoo! Woo! Awesome, you guys are awesome. We got our lines out, we got four lines out. No fish yet, but the water looks really great today. It's like almost on the like clear side considering that this is inshore and it's usually very brown and dirty water. And we have a lot of current. The current is ripping through here. But we haven't even caught a jack yet. We haven't even got a bite yet. But you know, whatever. Right now, it's a it's a, a boating trip, and then when we get a fish, it'll be a fishing trip. That's right. We don't, um, I don't like the ruin boating trips with all this fishing. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and then I just wanted to touch base again about that giveaway. You know, stay tuned for it. I'm not going to tell you what it is now because then that's going to ruin the surprise. But it's going to be a lot of fishing gear and some apparel too. So if you need that stuff, be sure to check out our giveaway video yeah. once again. It's a 100,000 K giveaway. Yes, yeah, so we're giving away a lot of good, awesome stuff for you guys, because you guys are the best. So, <laughs> yeah, so stay tuned for that again. And, um, yeah, what did you want to say? <laughs> but, you know, guys, we've got so much stuff going on. It's unbelievable. And, you know, this fishing is great, but i got a lot of stuff to tell you. we got, we got a lot going on. And the first thing we need help with is Darcy, this guy from, uh, I'm not sure I can see where he's from. He's in, he's in the Army, the Armed Services. He runs his uh, Instagram and website called uh, Ranger, Ranger proof. proof. He like trains SWAT guys, and he's gonna build Darcy an AR-15, and then we are gonna go shoot and blow the blow the shizzle out of stuff, man. You yeah. know, you know, he's probably a big safety guy. Darcy's a big safety girl. You know me, I'm the Uncle Rob of the Darcy Sizzle Show, and I just want to see her blow some stuff up. But <laughs> but the important part that we need your help on, he's gonna build her this AR-15. It's called an RC 
D2 or something. RPC2. RPC2. I'll put that in, in the description below. But it's going to be a custom gun, so we want your help to contribute here. So yes. a couple choices we got, and I'm going to put some pictures up right here of what the gun looks like. Okay, so we can do like a pink theme, which eh, well, we're really not really a pink girl. She's not really into pink. She likes blue, but we can do a blue theme, like water theme too. But uh, so we're thinking that. But Darcy loves Star Wars, and so we're thinking about doing like a Boba Fett type theme gun. So it might be really cool. And also we can do, you know, we do regular camo, we can do all kinds of stuff, we can do anything. The guy's gonna, gonna pimp it out, like pimp my ride, he's gonna pimp our AR-15. Yeah. So uh, check out this guy's uh, Instagram, it's down here, and it, the link's in the description of course. And yep. then let us know in comments, you know, how you, how you think this gun should be. You know, pink, yeah. camo, Boba Fett, and then uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, just please provide your input because I'm very indecisive when it comes to these things. And I want my gun to look awesome and just sick. So yeah. if you guys can help me with that, I would be much appreciated. I'm going to read every comment. <laughs> yeah, we're not, you know, we're not that much into guns, but we're trying to do more hunting. i got to get this line. I have those stuff. And those are going to fix those lines. And so so that's awesome. Uh, you know, so there's a lot of stuff going on. We've got the photo shoot going on with the guy Justin was supposed to be doing tonight. The wind's been going crazy. But check out his art. I'll put his thing in, in, in the description below, too. He's like a moon guy. He, he's like an expert moon photographer. But, and we've had lunch with him the other day. So, uh, you know, we get a good picture of Darcy out there. So that'd be great, too. Darcy's fishing, fishing, fishing. Oh, we got a fish on. Don't finish. Do what I'm going to do. Got him for the boat too. Woohoo! Gotta get you guys a better pick. Yeah. What's up, guys? Darcy has some uh, sunscreen on her hand, so she didn't want to touch this little snook. Woo! Oh, yeah, great. Googling in the net. Anyway, we got a nice little snook here. You can see he's on our yellow, pink yuzuri that we always use to catch a ton of fish. So that's out. Let me show them to you. I got a couple pictures with little Snooky, and he's going home. It's not Snook season anymore. Snook season ended on January 1st, so even if he were a slot, I couldn't keep him, and I don't want to keep him anyways. Snook are such an awesome fish. Bye. He was ready. Look, he's hanging out. Pretty. See, the water's so clear, you would never be able to see that fish like that. So that's a good sign, and hopefully we catch some more right now. Stop, stop. You need to do? This line. Which one? This line, middle. Is it? No, it looks like a lady. Like an old lady or stuff. Alright. Woo! Wow! I think it's like an eel! Oh my gosh, look at this fish, guys. Or it might be a ribbon fish. But I just got a slam and hit. It's coming in sideways. Look at this. What is this thing? Is it like a small sailfish? I've never seen this before. Oh my gosh. No. What is this? What the heck is this? It's a ribbon fish. It's a ribbon fish. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out, ribbon fish. Okay, this guy. Wow, this is crazy. I thought I just hooked a ladyfish, but just got him to the side of the boat. He was flipping all over the place. Ribbon fish, I don't think like they're really popular in this area. Um, where we live and I think we just I accidentally snagged him by accident the tide is real low right now so I'm just gonna try to bring him through the back door here since he's side hooked but these are really cool looking fish I've only seen them dead I've never seen them alive so if I can get him in the boat he's got some really sharp teeth Let's get him in the sun up front look how colorful look at those teeth oh my gosh dude this is a really odd catch to show you in the sun he's almost like that um really translucent iridescent looking fish so cool we use them for kingfish we've used them before in tournaments um damn let me get him up let me get this off of him see how slimy he is be careful of those teeth i don't know how to hold them <laughs> <laughs> He's got like no tail. He's just, it's almost like a big old clown knife fish or something. Check him out. Look at this thing. Wild looking. 
this is something from like I don't know like the deep deep waters like this is some crazy looking fish you would find like 3,000 feet down or something nuts but check them out this is called a ribbon fish and like I said I've never seen one of these before live I we've used them in the past this past year in KDW tournaments kingfish tournaments and you rig up a long one like this with like three stinger treble hooks connected to each other and you usually get kingfish to bite these guys but I never thought they would ever be in shore just a really cool looking fish. Wild looking. And those teeth are gnarly. Whoo! Alright, so I took a couple pictures with this fish. Got him back in the well, revived him a little bit. But he is just a cool looking ribbon fish. And I do know a couple things about these fish. For one, they're very rare to be seen alive. Very rare. So it's a very rare catch for me to actually catch one of these. Not only just catching it, but inshore in like five feet of water. That is like very rare. Um, actually, Captain Pat, uh, Ca Captain Pat of Swamp to Sea Guide Services, he's told us he caught some big ones inshore as well. So I know they are here in Boynton, but in my 27 years of fishing, I have never caught or seen a live ribbon fish. So this is a really unique catch. But I'm just gonna go ahead and release them. Actually, let me get a. I wanted to. I was curious about how long he is, so I just want to get a, a measurement on him on my Sea Deck ruler really fast, and then he's gonna go right back in the water. Maybe Brian can lift up his tail there. And he is over three feet long. He's about 30, wow, 35 with that long point on the end of his tail. Really cool. But these fish are called, I'm gonna go release them. But these fish are called ribbon fish. You can see that his teeth are built for biting live bait. Like he attacks live bait. That's a nasty, that's a nasty, nasty mouth. But he's ready to go. But you can see how he's built. He's built, they're, they're called ribbon fish because of this long tail, this long um, anal fin, sorry pectoral fin he's got here all the way down to his tail and this one is about the normal size you see him which is about the perfect size for kingfish bait as well and um, you would use this whole fish dead as kingfish bait there he goes pretty cool look he's just so cool looking and I don't know about people eating these fish um, I'm sure people do in certain areas of the world um, you know people eat the craziest things but there's not a lot of fish there's not a lot of meat on that fish you can see he's really thin and um, he just has that ribbon like appearance super cool and they're normally found in deep water so I'm just like shocked he's in here but apparently they get blown into shore with gale force winds and high winds during the winter we've had an east wind for over a week now and it's been a steady 15 knots all the way up to 30 knots so it probably pushed him in shore he came through the inlet probably chasing some bait fish and got in here somehow but really neat fish I think the average size is about five to eight feet long but they can get up to 20 feet long but that guy is probably the normal average size for you know the guys that catch him to use as kingfish bait so really cool unique catch super rare I'm probably never gonna see another one or catch one of those alive another beautiful day out here in the boat trying to catch some fish um, hopefully the fight has been a little bit slow but hopefully it's gonna turn on sun's going down the, we're on an outgoing tide now. We've caught a snook and a ladyfish and a couple jacks. Josh is up front playing with a casting rod, playing with a bait caster I brought along. And a crazy ribbon fish. <laughs> crazy ribbon fish. And she's playing with that bait caster because we're right here having a discussion. That's why I, I want to talk to you guys. I just bought, you know, nobody wanted to sponsor us for bait casters, whatever. <laughs> we're very good. I guess we're not bass guess. guys. I guess we're not bass guys. But um, anyway, so I decided I got five different bait casters. I got, what do I got? I got a Daiwa, a Shimano, Abu Garcia, Abu Garcia, 13. a 13, and what else? A Luz. And a Luz. So I got five different rods, not reels, and I'm, I, I want to try them all out and see what I like. You know, because when you're a bass guy, you need like 10 rods, right? So well, I, I, my question for you guys is like, what's the five setups? Like, what do you need? One for wor one for like worms, crankbaits, yeah. pitch, I need one for pitching, yeah. and, and pitching, and... Um, you know, basically, what's the five, what do you guys think of like the five rods I need? Yeah, like I know, yeah. Like five if you standard guys could, setups. Yeah, if you could help us with that, like seven foot medium heavy. Like you get in the that's frame, gotta get in the frame, you're gonna start the show. Sorry. Get in here. I know that's like a popular size, seven foot, like medium to medium heavy action. Um, and I know you need that for like, you know, pitching and heavy cover and stuff yeah. like that. But 
pitching and what's the other word? Pitching and pitching and flipping. Flipping, yes. Flipping. So, and I know that like you need like a heavy duty rod for that. And a couple of the bass rods we have, they're a little bit like on the flimsy they're side. Flimsy. They're for the they worms, look great I guess. for pictures because it bends over, but we do need like the legit setup, like the right rods, the right, right gear to catch fish so we don't break off. And we're gonna be doing a lot more bass fishing too, as well as offshore fishing. But right now it's winter time, so we can't do that. Um, but right. yeah, we're looking to just get our setups rigged up and ready to go and we're going to use all five of these setups, but if, yeah, if you guys could help us with that, that would be yeah, great. Yeah, so like, just to reiterate, you know, we're need a worm rod, a crankbait, a pitch, uh, a pitch rod. Pitching, flipping rod. Whatever, so five basic rods and like, and what the action is, like, we're not really sure. Um, I mean, you can give us some rod suggestions, you know, some cheap ones, reasonably priced. Yeah. Um, and basically, and basically that's it. I mean, otherwise, you know, I got to go Google Flair and the Bass Guys and look what they're going to tell me. But uh, I'd like to hear you guys help. Forget those bass guys. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, your thoughts are what count. And your That's right. Your opinions are what count. So, yeah. well, let us know. We're going to try and get some more fish here. I told Darcy we're fishing until dark until I get too cold because I forgot my coat. It's almost dark. But it's like, it's pretty nice here in Florida, guys. It's like 75 degrees. Sorry. P.S. I want to mention, I got all those bass rods, all those bass reels from j h Tackle. That's our great uh, tackle shop sponsor online. Uh, the bait, their brick and mortar stores on Long Island, New York, but they're online. Got a great online service, and I called Josh up, and he told me what I should get, and I picked up a bunch of reels. So if you guys want, uh, you need you have need some stuff, tackle J and H tackle if you don't mind. At least check them out, see if you like the prices. Somehow the lure, like he shook, the ladyfish shook, and the lure ended up catching my finger. That was not fun. It really went through, like the barb went through and out the other side of my finger, and that was uh, all because of a ladyfish about this size. <laughs> but he's going back. Bye. I gotta show you the sunset. Now that is what makes this all worthwhile. I don't care if I catch a fish. I'm out here with this wonderful young lady. Right, Sizzle? You're out here, right. you're out here fishing and you're on your boat with your family. You're getting outside in the water. Don't worry about the fish. The fish is like icing on the cake. Don't worry about the fish. Turn it around. Turn it around. Boss says gotta, do, gotta go, gotta go to work. but I was getting some clothes on because I'm getting a little chilly <laughs> and uh, I don't know the line just started bending the rod started bending over it didn't really take any drag let's see what it is but I think it's a little fish side hook oh we got a snook we got a snook it's a net he did not jump interesting it's a net I'm getting it woman <laughs> oh, got it Oh, he jumped. Just guys see him jump over my net. Oh my God. <laughs> now he's jumping. Now he wants to jump. What the heck is that? I didn't know what it was. He didn't even jump. All right, we got a nice little snook on the boat. I think it's about probably about the same size as that first snook we caught earlier. But the sun's going down, and it looks like the fish are starting to bite a little more. These hooks got buried. Let's try to get this one out first. That's the first hit we got on that lure today, which is my favorite snook lure. But got the hooks out of him. Whoa, he's an active little guy. Let's go home. Nice little snook. I'll take it. Gorgeous. Snook bite's turning on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and release this guy. He thinks like, he's pretty sure he's good to go. He's not, doesn't really need much reviving. Let's see how big he is. Really fast, and then he's gone. Okay. 
chill out. We're gonna let you go. He is about a 20 incher, just over 20. Pretty. It's gonna get real big one day. You gonna jump? You gonna jump? There he goes. All right, we're wrapping up our fishing trip. It's now dark out. As you can see, we've got our lights on so you can see. Hang on a second. All right, um, so I'm driving. Brian's reeling up lines for us, and we're going to head home. But it was an excellent day out here in shore saltwater fishing. We caught quite a couple snook, and we caught some ladyfish, and we caught that weird, crazy, rare uh, ribbon fish. And that was an awesome catch in and of itself, honestly. That was really cool, for me at least. Hopefully you guys enjoyed looking at that fish too. It was really cool looking. Um, but yeah, we're going to be back with our giveaway video, so stay tuned for that. We're going to be giving away a lot of good stuff, so be sure that you stay tuned for that video and um, you know follow all the rules so you can be entered and hopefully you win. I think we're going to have multiple winners in this video, in this giveaway. Um, because I think one winner, that's not really fair. So the more winners we have, the more chances you have winner, winning, right? So we're going to have quite a few uh, winners. And yeah, so that should be an exciting video. But we'll be back very soon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up for us. Subscribe to our channel. We have new videos every single week. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.